detangling my hair a little bit. I was outside today and the wind was blowing and it was kind of warm and I had my hair in a bun. When that happens, it usually gets matted around where the bun uh, coils. Let's try to get some of these tangles out without ripping all of my hair out. Try not to do that too. Too often bad. It doesn't look bad. Okay. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do on this video. All I know is people have been wanting me to do one. Thinking about braiding it and doing that style that I did not too long ago. Let me see if I can do that. I may turn this video into two parts. But, ouch. I have to hang now. It's really on my nerves. doing this I'll make some conversation has anyone ever seen the movie um, uh, Twilight I actually read the book Twilight and I really liked it and the book and the movie they're awesome and I'm highly anticipating the release of the second movie goes along with the second book which I also read. I can't wait. It comes out November 20th. Can't wait for that. Most people like Edward Cullen from the movie. I honestly don't care for him as much as I do for Doc Collins. He's the father. He's very sophisticated. I really like his demeanor in the movie. Never realized how much of an actor he was. He's been in a lot of different shows. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Now I'm all nice and hot from my hair being all over me. thinking about it since the Twilight series is based on vampires. I was thinking about one day doing research on vampires and their hairstyles and see what I could come up with. Because back then it looked like vampires had long hair. <sighs> That'd be kind of fun. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready to braid. I think Oh yeah, I'm braiding. If you notice I'm talking really low, it's because everybody in my family is asleep. I'm the only psycho person that is up past midnight. Having a hard time with my hair. I might 
do this part on the video and fast forward because it takes a long time. Way done. I never do real good with braids because my braids tend to run out of volume while I'm braiding. Try to add some in here and there inconspicuously and it doesn't happen. Speaking of that movie Twilight, I noticed that they won five MTV awards and that Rob Pattinson, nobody should give him a microphone because you never know what he's going to say. Most of the stuff that comes out of his mouth is pretty embarrassing, but he never acts like it bothers him. All of his friends that are sitting down, they're cringing and rolling their eyes, going, oh my gosh, I can't believe he said that. That something was seeping out his backside for winning an award, and then he was at a mall in Chicago they were promoting Twilight, and again, they were get, giving him a microphone and did like a question and answer type thing, and Someone asked him, who does his hair? Because it was beautiful. And he said, I let 12 year old virgin girls lick my hair. 12 year old virgin girls was the answer to who does your hair. And that was embarrassing. I'm glad I wasn't there and I'm glad I wasn't him. But the rest of the cast was there standing behind him waiting for their turn. And I'm sure it made them a lot more nervous than what they were just to hear the star of the show say something like that. Um, and the actors in the Twilight series, I like the Twilight series. I noticed all the actors and actresses were pretty much models somewhere along the line. And some of them, their acting skills could be a lot better than what they are. I'm not trying to be mean. I don't know how to act, I don't think. But that's my little gripe of the day for Twilight. Sure, I'll have one tomorrow. Okay, finally. Finally, finally, finally. So I'm going to do this really neat. If I remember how to do it, I don't even have a chopstick in here. I have to get me one real quick. It's right around the corner. Once I get it, oops, I'll be able to do this. Maybe. There we go. It's hot in here. 